Okay then, I'm ready. Uh, I thank you very much again, Jordi. It is nice to uh, talk to you again. Uh, it was a long time. So uh, I, I will just introduce uh, myself. Uh, it is written in there. I don't want to spend time. Uh, uh, I will just tell about uh, our story with uh, you know Mr. Jordi. Uh, I thank him a lot. Uh, I was vice president at uh, Turkish uh, Aerospace last year. And uh, we had actually, uh, it, we had a in-house, you know, ERP system in there, uh, you know, developed uh, within 30 years. And we said we should uh, modernize it. And uh, we had uh, five, uh, nearly five different systems, open source systems. We said, okay, we should go with open source. And among them, uh, according to 40 criteria, we have chosen uh, audio. And we had uh, a lot of discussions with 10,000, you know, employees in that. It was really very nice. And uh, Jordi with his team uh, helped a lot. Uh, I really thank him, appreciate their help. Now, the, it is good, you know, they're uh, working there. Uh, the uh, teams are uh, more. Uh, Jordi with his, his team came and gave, you know, uh, fantastic, actually, uh, training uh, to our people. Uh, according to uh, soul of you know open source mine uh, so i will just start now uh, so this year i am uh, now uh, in the university as full time again as before it is marmara university with 85000 students of course marmara is the greatest region in turkey uh, having uh, istanbul in the middle uh, it is producing a uh, 40% of gdp of turkey which is more than uh, 800 billion dollars so uh, we ha we are in a blockchain now. I am a Komodo regional director in Turkey, and we are involved in a blockchain uh, uh, for more than two years. And of course, we are also involved uh, in Odoo uh, within our environment. So we have created a system. I will just try to in uh, introduce, and hopefully, we will have good relations between you know uh, Odoo system, uh, which has uh, more than six million users now and Komodo systems, uh, blockchain system with uh, different, uh, actually, uh, cryptocurrencies like, you know, Komodo itself, of course, uh, uh, other uh, pirate coin, for example, Marmara, of course, credit loops, uh, various coin, uh, nearly, I think, more than 10 uh, different uh, in the ecosystem now uh, active. So, uh, our aim is uh, to solve the uh, credit issue or uh, to become an alternative to banking system. So I will just uh, start actually. So this is thanks to uh, Oka again. Uh, I'm standing uh, in living memory of David Graeber. Uh, I don't know how many uh, read about this. It is fantastic book, of, book uh, you know, along with other books. First 5,000 years uh, debt actually problem. So we are trying to solve this problem. What is wrong? Uh, the pro uh, what are the problems with banking system credits? They first of all bear interest, main cause of bubbles, as you know, in economies, inflating costs of products and services. They are centralized. Uh, credit is a fundamental human right, especially according to social credit founder, C.H. Douglas. Uh, within his book, uh, Credit Power and Democracy, I suggest uh, actually everyone to read. And they have no excuse in banking system and flexibility as in decentralized credits by people uh, in peer-to-peer -peer credits, for example. If you just uh, give some kind of credit to your friend, if he cannot, for example, pay, then uh, you are flexible. Sometimes you, you can have, uh, you know, individual debt jubilee, but in banking system, this is very, very difficult, as you know. <coughs> when we started, actually, uh, uh, the uh, problem, uh, it was in uh, 2013, uh, there was one uh, story about, uh, it is town story, very famous in Turkey, in actually uh, everywhere in the world. I searched about the town. You know, there's a town where there's a hotel. Uh, in this town, everyone is in debt to each other. They are living on credit. You know, there is no money, as in the world now. You know, uh, they are uh, created by the banks. Uh, of course, within this town, it is similar. Hotel keeper has actually, uh, okay, uh, one tourist coming to hotel saying, okay, 
I will pay 100 USD uh, if I stay, uh, but if I don't stay, I will. I want my money back. Okay, they agree. So uh, he rushes to uh, butcher because he, after getting this 100 uh, dollar, he just pays his debt to butcher. Butcher is also having a debt uh, within a transaction before uh, to farmer. He just uh, goes there to pay his debt, and he goes there uh, again full supplier. Uh, full supply in, uh, is in debt to transporter. Transporter goes there to hotel because he stayed uh, in the hotel some time ago. Then you see there is a cycle there. Uh, everyone has cleared now uh, the debts. What happens? Tourist says, okay, I, I am not happy with the room, so please give my mo money back. Uh, I am leaving the hotel. So what happens here? Uh, they have just uh, created an interest uh, free a credit loop we call it credit loop uh, it is uh, very famous you can just search town story a, a brain teaser and uh, like a riviera a town or uh, with very different town names it is everywhere in the world i think it is famous in your country as well who benefited from this according to that uh, little story uh, no one earned anything However, the whole town is now without debt and looks to future without, uh, with a lot of optimism. So this is the uh, real uh, source. I think uh, it was before this, uh, even uh, before, because they are mentioning that they have taken this from somewhere else. Okay. Uh, now, this is uh, a real story, actually, with prostate checks in certain countries. In Turkey, in India, for example, prostate checks are treated like uh, the story in a uh, town. It is exactly the uh, same. Uh, and it is over a trillion USD value, according to, uh, you know, official sources. Uh, I'm sure it is more than that. Now, uh, what is the greatest problem with the uh, checks, especially prostate checks? What is prostate checks? Uh, you know, you just write a future date on the, uh, you know, uh, posted the check. So it, it cannot be paid before that certain date. So it must be supported by the laws and by the culture in a certain, uh, in the countries. Otherwise, it will not work. Like in uh, Western countries, for example, in mo uh, most of them, if you have a check, posted the checks in uh, UK, for example, if you just take it to a uh, bank, they will just, uh, not look at the uh, date on it. If there is uh, money in the account, they will uh, pay for it. So it will be cleared. But in certain countries, like in India, in other countries, uh, they cannot be cleared uh, until that date. And uh, there might be no punishment if it is not uh, paid until uh, the date of, uh, we call it the uh, redemption. So this is bouncing uh, problem with the checks. So we said, okay, uh, we have a good use case, and uh, they are uh, actually running on the papers as analog blockchain. So uh, what is the greatest problem? Bouncing. Now let us see the figure here. It is, you see, uh, within uh, Turkey, for example, it is actually very a uh, good alternative to banking system. Why? When you look at the GDP value, it is 25% uh, of GDP. 25% of GT, uh, GDP uh, running with the post date checks. Of course, this is the face value of the checks uh, because they can circulate like in the town. Uh, I guess it is uh, more than uh, half of the economy, uh, you know, GDP in Turkey. Let us look at uh, India. It is uh, very similar and it is actually more than uh, Turkey. You see, it is nearly a uh, 49, 42%, uh, you know, according to GDP value here. And in the red boxes, you will see a uh, return checks, uh, bouncing checks. It is around 2.5%. It is trust-based system. Why? Right? Because you never accept a check if you don't know the person. Uh, it is based on the trust. Uh, but sometimes, of course, we, because of the uh, political uh, things and uh, financial crisis especially, people have difficulty. And uh, it is like, uh, you know, uh, some kind of uh, bricks that uh, rely on each other. Uh, it, uh, it has a dominoes effect. 
So once somebody, for example, a problem, uh, it affects others. But even uh, in uh, crisis terms, now, nowadays in pandemic, for example, in Turkey, it is nearly 3%. Uh, it was also, uh, as, you know, calculated uh, uh, according to news. But we will expect, of course, the real figures at the end of year. But I don't uh, see uh, it will be uh, more than 4%. In India, it is around uh, f- uh, 5%, you know, 4 uh, to 5%. This is non-redemption rate. So we said, okay, we should solve this problem. And we have written uh, actually uh, a paper uh, and we had POC last year with 100 uh, uh, students, more than 100 students in the engine faculty. And uh, this was the base, a blockchain solution to non-redemption problem in post data checks. Of course, it is not limited to post data checks only. It is actually peer-to-peer uh, credit creation. So we have two protocols uh, in the blockchain. It is running now for more than uh, nine months, I can say. Uh, in the protocol one, it is distributed uh, peer-to-peer uh, credits. In the protocol two, we have uh, some kind of escrows. You see, it is uh, decentralized uh, around the escrows. The protocol one has 100% collateralization. That means there is no non redemption problem. In protocol two, you can have a post data checks with uh, zero collateralization. So uh, how is the non-redemption problem solved? We will uh, talk about that. So in any uh, check, you know, uh, I just show with three uh, figures here uh, to show the concepts. The main figures here, one is issuer, uh, second is endorser, uh, who gets the check, of course, uh, who gets a credit loop here. Endorsers may be any number. You know, uh, in Turkey, uh, they just attach uh, checks, uh, the paper checks, you know, to each other to just elongate the uh, length of uh, check so that uh, others can just put their uh, endorsements, uh, the signatures uh, behind the check. The last person is called bearer holder, and he or she goes to bank at the day of, you know, uh, redemption clearance. If there is no problem in the account of issuer, then there is problem. So this is a uh, 2.5% in Turkey as general, uh, 5% in India, for example. Of course, half of economy uh, runs, uh, you know, in India with the uh, post checks. In, in Turkey, it is uh, nearly 25%. But as we said, uh, to, in Turkey, it circulates a lot. Uh, it is very typical, you know, to circulate a check uh, like within uh, between five people. So it will have... Uh, perhaps even if it is two in average, it will be half of the GDP in economy. So this is zero point, uh, z- sorry, zero uh, percent collateralization on, until maturity date. How is it solved uh, within the within date uh, within uh, uh, protocol two? Uh, when we have similar to banking system, uh, a credit between two persons, it is peer to peer credit. It is actually. Uh, approved by an escrow. It might be a community, for example. It might be, for example, a cooperative, uh, you know, credit union. It might be ecological village, whatever it is. So any credit will be, uh, you know, uh, approved approved, and uh, at the day of uh, maturity, uh, that will be, uh, of course, uh, those escrows will be on the blockchain. It is still a uh, trust-based, uh, you know, uh, but on the blockchain, which is trustless. So uh, it will be also support with the blockchain uh, reward mechanism. But in the first one, so this is the three layer non-redemption. We have in the mil- uh, middle layer blockchain fund. Uh, it is smart contract addresses, which has, uh, which have uh, 10% of uh, all rewards in the blockchain. And it works with the escrows, community escrows. You see, community one, community two. So each credit is actually uh, issued by a person uh, where he or she belongs to a community. And if uh, there is a redemption problem at the end, for example, it is uh, cleared uh, by the help of community. If it is not, uh, uh, if it cannot be cleared, then as the last uh, resort, uh, uh, the blockchain fund comes. Of course, in that case, uh, the escrow will be blacklisted. 
in Turkey, what happens, for example, uh, and in India or in other countries where prostate checks are very common, people are blacklisted. The individuals are blacklisted. But here, uh, because we have the uh, S-cross on the blockchain, they will be uh, blacklisted. Now, how is it working? Now, it is working now. You can try on Marmara credit groups. Uh, it is uh, working based on uh, activated uh, locked funds and also uh, credit uh, uh, loops uh, and funds locked in those loops. So what are the steps? This is first issuer. Uh, we call it a uh, issuer, pub key in the blockchain. And this is the uh, first holder, bearer, uh, in the uh, system. There are only two uh, when, uh, when it is beginning. So what happens? Holder, in the first case, uh, uh, of course, this is uh, pub key one locks 50 uh, MCL in activated fund by using Marmara lock. This is a uh, command uh, RPC call to uh, blockchain. And uh, it is just locking, you see, uh, 50 in the activated funds. This is locked. It can be opened uh, by the uh, person, PUBG1, anytime. Now, uh, this sells book uh, to PUBG1. This is uh, holder. Uh, and uh, this is, of course, seller. And this is buyer. Issuer is the buyer. PUBG makes money receive from PUBG1. So, so he just says, okay, I want, uh, I want to make money receive for 50. And this is approving now. Pop key one makes mana issue to pop key two. Okay, now uh, credit is uh, credit is uh, getting transferred to uh, the holder now. So what happens with that? Uh, the 50 MCL goes from activated fund to MCL fund, mana credit loop fund. Uh, it is actually locked locked in a fund smart contract address, which cannot be opened uh, until the measure date. No one can uh, open it. No one can uh, uh, do that. But of course, why do we use such a system? Because it is 100% collateralized. Actually, we just replaced the 75% uh, of the uh, blockchain rewarding system in Bitcoin. Uh, of course, thanks to Komodo Technologies. We have 75% staking where uh, issuer and holder uh, all the time have a benefit of 3x staking three times more staking power. So 75% of all staking, and most of the majority of them are going to people who are using uh, credit loops. So suppose there's another one in the loop. Uh, so he's, of course, when it is a lock, still can be used in real economy. So this becomes endorser uh, one now, pop key uh, two. This makes pop key three, makes money receive from pop key two. Uh, he is buying uh, uh, Apple, for example. Now he is saying, okay, uh, makes Marmar transfer. Uh, so he is using RPC called Marmar transfer to PUBG3. Now what happened? Uh, credit uh, now uh, is between the issuer and the new holder. Endorser now has uh, given book and bought uh, Apple. So he has no right for 3x staking on the blockchain now. He has no uh, benefit. Why? Because he has uh, given... A book and he has bought uh, Apple. So the new uh, staker in the system is sure because he locked uh, until the mat mature today and uh, it is the new holder. So 50% uh, uh, of uh, 50 MCL is now giving a right to make staking to holder. 50% of that, uh, which is 25 MCL, giving the right to issue. So what happens? Uh, holder now, the new holder, it is similarly, uh, this becomes endorser to uh, selling a computer game to now uh, PUBG3, makes money receive for that, and then uh, he is transferring uh, to new person. So this becomes holder. So there are only four. In the normal blockchain, uh, we can have uh, 1,000 nodes. In analog blockchain, of course, of post data checks uh, happening on the paper, uh, it is, uh, I have seen something uh, with the elongated, you know, checks, like 15 uh, signatures, endorsers, uh, but here we can have 1,000. So if it is, for example, uh, with a maturity date of one year, uh, every day, for example, it can uh, actually circulate three times. So we, we have a pretty good number here uh, to have. So at maturity date, what happens? 50 MCL locked in LCL fund, you see uh, now unlocked and goes directly to holder. 
because it is 100% collateralized, there is no non-redemption problem. So it is solved, you see, within the uh, first one. We have a GUI now system. Now we want to, of course, have all these GUIs uh, with the Odoo system. But it happens now uh, with special uh, GUI. Uh, we have two GUIs, but the, this one is the most recent one. We will uh, release it soon. It is uh, tested. You see, you can see issuer, uh, bearer, holder, endorser, three main actors here on the system. So uh, we are now creating the town story, uh, repeating town story between two nodes. One is hotel keeper and uh, another is butcher. So what will happen? As hotel keeper, uh, it will uh, issue the credit and uh, it will, after issuance to butcher, uh, now hotel keeper will get it back because we have only two nodes. We are making it between two persons, of course. Uh, by the way, we have made a television program recently. Uh, in the television program, uh, we have, I'll just give the link here at the, uh, here. By the way, uh, there is no voice here. Is, is there any problem? So still, uh, my voice is coming Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have given uh, YouTube. Uh, so we have done it actually uh, between uh, three uh, nodes. I was on television studio. Uh, and uh, we have also on television, uh, Mr. Jordi, you know, if you come to Turkey, yeah, we can have a session on Odoo uh, system. Uh, hopefully, uh, of, uh, within pandemic time, I don't know, but uh, if you are coming, we have a uh, regular television, uh, you know, uh, TV shows. On that, we have done it uh, between three countries. So, town story became, uh, in this one, uh, rea reality. So, what happened? In studio, I have uh, issued uh, to Tony from Russia, from Komodo team, a uh, credit uh, for 1,000. And uh, he then uh, transferred this credit to Belgium uh, from uh, Mr. Hakan from our Komodo team. And then uh, he uh, also uh, transferred me. So I just bought uh, a software uh, from uh, Tony uh, from Russia. Uh, Tony uh, sold... Uh, Sorry, uh, Tony bought uh, some design uh, for CNC uh, 3D printing, and I have sold to uh, Belgium vacation one night vacation online. It it happened uh, within half an hour, uh, the first half an hour of the program. Uh, half an hour is uh, mostly English in English, so you can watch if you are interested. Uh, some can watch that. Uh, it has done, actually, we have achieved that town story uh, between, you know, uh, three nodes. So you can see now what happens. Uh, step one, for credit of 1,000, hotel keeper issue, locks activates 1,000 marmara. How? Here, there is, you see, uh, one part, it is called uh, lock, uh, and uh, he simply locks, uh, you see, 1,000. Now, it is in activated amount. Of course, I didn't show it, but he has to lock 1,000. If it is not locked, uh, it cannot be uh, put into smart contract. So after this is locked, uh, we go to the second node now because it makes Marmara uh, receive. You see, this is the uh, butcher. Now butcher says, okay, I want to make a Marmara receive uh, 1,000. Maturity is uh, block size, but we will make it a calendar now, 100 days. Because uh, every one uh, minute there is one block coming, and uh, in average, uh, 1440 blocks a day. So we have for 100 days of uh, maturity, we have 144,000 uh, blocks. The currency is Marmara. Uh, for protocol 2, it will be USD, uh, Turkish lira, uh, gold, silver, anything. But of course, they are not real, uh, you know, uh, assets, they are just credits like USD credit, you can have a credit for some for Turkish lira to someone. So it will be more than 32 with the protocol too. But now we have uh, Marmara only. So request credit. When uh, the butcher says request credit, okay, now uh, it makes a credit. What happens after that? This is hotel keeper. Uh, he just sees uh, the, uh, uh, you know, demand for uh, uh, Marmara receive uh, for that credit. And then he will just go and say review and confirm. That's it. It will be issued now. So after that, 
Uh, now butcher holder displays his uh, her loop. You see, five hundred, uh, five hundred half locked in there uh, because he is a holder. Uh, five hundred, you see, locked in this uh, in his account, holder's account. Five hundred is the remaining uh, half percent is locked there in a hotel keeper's account. So, what is the benefit from this? Of course, uh, you see, this is a TX ID. Uh, it is just uh, on the blockchain, copying the uh, thing. So, it will be used uh, to return it back to hotel keeper. Of course, we are having a town story here. Now, hotel keeper makes a receive request to butcher to complete the town story. So after that, you see, uh, request credit. he has taken button ID, uh, uh, a flag uh, to uh, carry on with the you know endorsements, and then butcher uh, makes endorsement to hotel keeper back. After this process, now hotel keeper has the credit back. Of course, you can increase it, uh, to like uh, one thousand uh, notes in the system. So this is the loop address. Uh, now, after settlement, you see it is settlement. Uh, you can see in the red box here and right uh, in the right, uh, green area, you see vault amount is now 2000. It was 1000 before. Activated amount, it is not in there, nothing. What happened? The credit is settled in where? In hotels account back again. So he has money back again. So what is the benefit of the system? Uh, you know, in uh, Bitcoin, you have mining of, uh, it is like a notary system, distrib distributed notary system. People just, uh, you know, uh, consume a lot of energy, actually, actually to get uh, blockchain rewards. They are doing this mining job because why uh, they are keeping the uh, records in the system. Uh, they are record keepers. We have reduced the mining, like in Bitcoin, to 25%. And we have increased seven, uh, staking to 75%. So 75% of the uh, whole rewards, like uh, in Bitcoin system, suppose you are changing the Bitcoin system where a majority of rewards, 75% are going to stakers, not miners. Uh, it is kind of mining again. Uh, they are using the computers uh, run the program, but it is not, uh, it is a different technique. It is uh, based on uh, locking the coins. So both issuer and holder, bearer here, can do 3x staking during lifetime of a credit loop. So Marmar blockchain rewards are distributed through 75% staking with coins activated. Activated coins may be opened by the person himself, but uh, the uh, 3x staking uh, actually provides the uh, credit hole, uh, you know, loop issuers and holders with the 3x staking. So most of the rewards go to credit uh, loop uh, user, users, we can say. So this is a credit loop after settlement. You see there's a button ID uh, and you can have here, this is N1 or so, number of nodes in loop is maximum 1000. So you will see a big actually after this RPC called Marmara credit loop and button ID, you will see uh, we have on the internet uh, something like 74, the longest uh, credit loop until now. Uh, after that, we didn't have any competition uh, for the longest one, but it can go up to, uh, you know, uh, 1000 and we have tested uh, with some bash scripts. It is working. Uh, so, uh, you see the currency Marmara, it might be USD in the protocol tool, for example, or uh, another uh, like uh, silver or uh, gold. The heights, you see, it, it has big data. Uh, every transfer point uh, has a height of, you know, uh, where uh, the block height of uh, in the blockchain. So we keep track of uh, all transfers on the blockchain. Uh, for example, the, one of the major problems in post-dated checks, they are analog for, of, card, of course. Nobody knows about the history of the, uh, you know, uh, post-dated checks until they arrive at the end uh, to the bank. But here, uh, at any time, by giving, providing uh, the button ID, access to credit loop, uh, for accessing to credit loop, anyone can look at uh, the loop, uh, at what point and uh, what were the people, for example, of course, there with the uh, pop key uh, addresses. So uh, it is uh, traceable, transparently, it is, uh, you know, uh, on the blockchain, anytime. So opportunities, what are the opportunities now uh, for integrating credit loops with Odo? First of all, it is uh, over uh, in India, for example, half of, half of GDP works with 
you know, uh, post-secretary checks, of course, uh, in Turkey, it is nearly half. There are also other countries, like Middle East countries, uh, you know, Central Asia, and like uh, also ca Canada, for example. Uh, I know that uh, people, uh, for example, pay for the rents in uh, post-secretary checks in Canada. Also, it, it will work with any uh, community because this is peer-to-peer -peer credit uh, creation and circulation system. Now we are uh, in an era, era of, you know, decentralized, uh, you know, uh, IT-based uh, businesses like uh, Odoo, for example, has a lot of installation. Uh, more than 6 million people are using now uh, Odoo system. So any, for example, cooperative, any uh, SME or any other, uh, you know, body community can have, for example, an escrow. Uh, service within uh, Odoo and uh, for protocol 2 uh, they can work with that actually so uh, alternative to banking system uh, communities can uh, actually uh, create the credits uh, with the protocol 1 which is 100% collateralized and also with zero point collateralization uh, with uh, escrows so this will uh, you know even without waiting for protocol 2 uh, additions uh, to blockchain uh, with the auto, uh, it can be done uh, based on the uh, database solutions, you know, because, you know, there are tip bots working in Discord groups, for example, uh, they are uh, tipping the people with uh, certain things. We have also in our uh, Discord group, like Marmara Credit Groups, for example, people are using in Komodo site, uh, Discord site, there is, for example, people just get uh, from faucet some uh, small amounts of, you know, uh, coins, so uh, what is it using? It is not actually uh, using in front side uh, the blockchain technology. It is using at the back side. So uh, although uh, within the structure uh, can be utilized, even you don't need to you know natively uh, embed the blockchain into Odo. You can do it with the uh, centralized system and uh, behind. Of course, it is also good for security. Behind that. Uh, there might be a, a scroll system. So uh, even protocol 2 uh, can be established uh, within, uh, together with uh, protocol 1 within other systems. So market size is very huge. Uh, it's over a trillion USD already. But I believe this is multi-trillion uh, dollars. And this will, of course, have very good effect on uh, other uh, you know, uh, communities. Why? Because SMEs or other you know, uh, establishments who are using Odo, when they have, uh, uh, you know, escrow services, they will have very good, uh, you know, uh, alternative to banking system. So without any bank, you know, on Odo uh, system, uh, people can create uh, credits uh, in a decentralized manner uh, around the escrows. So the tool is usable for other decentralized credit tools like promissory notes, policies, or any other things. Therefore, we call it uh, credit loops. We don't call it post-dated checks. You know, it, although we were inspired from the post-dated checks in Turkey, in India, and in, in uh, like Canada, other ca countries, but it is actually applicable to any kind of credit. Therefore, we call it the uh, credit loops. It may be used as an interest-free solution for credit creation and be an important alternative to banking credits because all banking credits somehow have uh, interest. But uh, if you look at the practices in Turkey, in India, they are, they are uh, zero interest uh, to uh, systems. That means there is no cost over the credit created. For example, if you have compound, compound interest with the banking system, in Turkey, for example, it is 1.32% uh, per month. And it happens, for example, uh, nearly 15% a year. If you have a house, for example, in Turkey for 100,000 uh, Turkish uh, you know, it is real uh, thing now. After 10 years, it is typical for 120 months as credit, the, you know, uh, cost of house becomes doubled. If it is 100,000, it becomes 200,005 uh, uh, or uh, 195,000 uh, something like. Okay, although it can be the first system in the IP world to integrate crypt cryptocurrencies and blockchain with real economic solutions in a large scale around, of course, uh, the uh, SMEs and around the uh, other big institutions, uh, 
Mr. Jordan will rem uh, remember when he's in Thai Turkish airspace. You know, we have we had the uh, we have actually more than ten thousand people working that. There are also other companies, uh, you know, in Turkey, very huge organizations. They have certain uh, buildings operations. Uh, for example, they are actually all these big institutions are getting credit from the banks. I told uh, when I was, you know, uh, CIO uh, in the company. Uh, also, I was in, a, you know, a supply uh, chain part, you know, a procurement as, uh, you know, vice uh, president for the procurement as well. I also reminded that uh, why don't we use post-dated checks, uh, you know, uh, like other uh, SMEs, uh, because they are uh, really uh, having these benefits uh, from, uh, you know, uh, zero interest uh, things, credits, uh, by just creating any amount themselves. Why don't we do that? You know, why are we, for example, because all big organizations are also living on the credits. You know, it is cost of the credit is very high. I suggested them, for example, it is, of course, because, uh, you know, the government institutions or other big institutions do not uh, benefit this. But I believe, like a private sector, they can also benefit this. And uh, as trust point, as escrows, if they are also in this business, of course, uh, this uh, trillion uh, dollar will be, you know, multiple uh, with uh, the system. Odo has, I think, a, a very good opportunity with that. This is the final one. Thanks very much. <laughs> I hope I didn't pass the time. Yeah, I couldn't cut you, <laughs> but we are really well beyond the time. Never mind. Uh, thank, thank you, you for much. your presentation. Um, are there any questions? Any questions? Yeah. Any no questions? questions? Yeah. I Hi. don't see I don't see any questions. Uh, well, thank you very much. And uh, normally right now there's a, a break and we should resume the presentation at ten past two. So that's in a little bit less than uh, a little bit more than ten minutes. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope I could deliver the message. Thank you. 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 Thank you.